Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a uh, quick uh, video to talk about device drivers in Windows and especially since there's a new version of Windows 10 do how do I know if my device drivers are up to date or, or do I have the right ones or do I have new ones that I have to install so it this is a complex problem for one reason a lot of manufacturers have drivers to download on their websites. More and more in Windows 10, what's cool is that Windows 10 itself has the device drivers available for download through Windows Update. So for the most part, um, I would say that probably the majority of the hardware out there, the device drivers you need will be downloaded through Windows Update. So when you go to uh, Windows Updates, there's regular updates for different, um, you know, for security and for bug fixes and stuff like that. But there's also other types of updates that appear in there that could be, of course, uh, installed. So, for example, here, if you look, I've got some driver updates that are available and that actually have been installed. And you see them here, the real tech stuff, the Acer expansion extension the inside software firmware stuff like that come through the windows updates that means i don't have for the most part anything to do and i actually went to see on my on the acer website if my acer nitro 5 had updates and there's nothing new in updates through the acer website so i'm okay with that and most uh drivers so most of the the uh, software updates are, or driver updates come through Windows Update. But there are exceptions to the rule and there are some drivers that actually are downloaded um, from the manufacturers. For example, I've got a NVIDIA graphics adapter. Well, NVIDIA actually has its own driver updates, but if you have installed the NVIDIA um, package, the NVIDIA software, you're okay. It tells you when new drivers are available. And actually, when the May 2020 update was released, I actually had a pop-up that said, well, there's a new driver available, by the way, for your PC. Now, it might not have been directly for the version 2004, but it, you know, it was a driver update. So I uh, installed the update. What you need to do if you have a brand computer. So if it's a computer that you purchase from HP, from Dell, from Acer, uh, Lenovo, or whatever company, you need to go to the manufacturer's website and look at the drivers in that and in the manufacturer's support page. Unfortunately, it's not always easy. These companies, sometimes they actually give you driver support, but it's not necessarily easy to find. What you need is uh, on your computer, there are stickers with, you know, serial numbers and so on. So what you do is you go to the manufacturer website. So, for example, what I did on my case, all I simply went to, um, you know, I googled Acer, Acer Nitro 5 drivers, and I looked at, you know, any website. So here at the top, the first one that I see is Acer.com. Make sure that it's the manufacturer website if you do search for them not any weirdo site that is something else because there's a lot of uh, fake website driver downloads that you know will download all sorts of things i came here it says drivers and manual and entered the uh, snid number that the uh, the serial number that i have on my device it actually sent me to the correct uh, laptop with driver updates that's the way that i did it um but you can go directly to dell or uh, whatever HP, you know, whatever uh, brand you have, they might have their own driver updates. And that's the big problem is when they actually have their own updates that they don't push through Windows updates. For the most part, when there's a new version of Windows like we are having now, um, you know, uh, pretty much everybody has the correct drivers through Windows update. But like I said, on brand computers, it happens sometimes that you might actually have to download separate drivers rather than, um, you know, the ones that are in Windows Update. 
Uh, it's a complex thing, unfortunately, that should be much simpler, and that should actually be only through Windows Update, and that's it, and, and, and not have to go to the manufacturer and try to scratch your head. Unfortunately, a lot of people that have problems with Windows 10 probably have drivers to download from the manufacturer's website, but they don't know about it, and what happens is that they think Windows is a problem. When in reality, it's just drivers that need to be updated to have it working correctly. And the one to blame here is not, once again, Microsoft for this. It's the manufacturer. A lot of the problems that PCs have, the, the one to blame is the manufacturer of that computer, not Microsoft. And unfortunately, there's this uh, way of thinking and this way of talking that you know, if you contact support of an HP computer or contact support for a computer manufacturer, well, often you'll have some guy at the other end that's going to say, oh, well, you know, it's Windows. That's why it's got problems. You should not have upgraded and blah, blah, blah. No, you're, you're, it's your fault. It's your, your, the company that you're working for is not doing its job in updating drivers fast enough. It's, it has nothing to do with Microsoft's fault. Unfortunately, that happens very often. And, of course, the one that everybody blames all the time is, of course, always Windows, saying, well, well, Windows is slow because of, you know, it's, I'm going back, Windows 10 is slow. And, yeah, look at drivers. You might see that there's a huge improvement. But thanks to Microsoft working hard, more and more of the drivers come through Windows Update. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.